Hello guys, welcome to the channel again. So in this uh, in this time we have a 2000 Volkswagen Beetle and it has uh, transmission problems. It looks like people start to bring in the transmission problems to me. <laughs> um, I've been working on this car. I mean, as for a customer. So I've been working, you know, doing little little things here and there. And um, this time the transmission started to acting up. And uh, I decided to take the valve body out and see if uh, we can clean them up and make sure, you know, all the solenoids are reading correctly. If no, we might gonna have to order new solenoids. But uh, after seeing what happened to the black golf and it worked good, so we might have a shot on this one too. So, working on this right now. Um, guys, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, tip. Um, I was removing this uh, cover from the battery. And uh, all the Mark IV has this box right here. Every single one has this uh, box. So, I'm gonna give you a tip. Uh, before the, the tip, guys, uh, is, um, I don't know if you guys hear me on the last video, but I was uh, sounding a little weird in my voice, and that's because uh, I thought I had flu. But guys, uh, I, I did the test yesterday, um, and it came out uh, positive. So guys, I am positive, guys. I'm carrying the Omicron. So hopefully it, it doesn't hit me too hard. But look, I'm right here working. But yeah, I have COVID now. After like two and a half years of uh, wearing a mask, now I got him myself. First my kids and now myself. So hopefully my wife doesn't catch it. But uh, that's the news. But I'm still here, guys, bringing you guys uh, entertainment. So what I'm going to do here, guys, uh, my tip is... Um, Usually this black cable, it gets burned. It's either this or this or both at the same time, it gets burned. And normally it's because you got the AC on for longer, for longer period of time. And also the alternator is charging the battery through this little cable. And this little cable is also sending power to every single of this cable so what i do and it's been working for me no problem since the black one is for the alternator guys don't take the 10 millimeter wrench or socket take it out of here take it out completely out of there this is the alternator cable and now leave that like that you can probably pass this through here if you wanted to, but remember to move this fuse because it will get more current. But this is the, I think it's the AC, the fans and all that stuff. And then for the interior stuff or AC fan and the module. I don't know. What I did on mine is remove this, remove that one from here. Put the nut in here. Take this one out of here. And look at it. Look, it's only like three wires holding it. So imagine. You think your car is not... I mean, the battery is not good. Maybe it's because it's not receiving enough uh, charge. But anyway. What we're going to do is put this black cable straight into the... Oh, let me see if I can get more, more room. Yeah, there you go. It's straight into the battery. Positive. There it is. So this is the alternator anyways. So you need you need current straight to the battery. Not to the box and then to the because this right here creates a lot of resistance. You know, like this cable cannot handle everything. So you can either put this one back in here 
or take that nut out and since it's gonna be permanent in here you can just attach it to there and that's it you can use the other nut because you probably got enough room to do that or maybe not but you still can uh it's all right you're not supposed to like pull them all the way through but you will be fine so you can put them here oops like that let me see if i can come on come on buddy cannot get it with one hand and one on the phone so let me see if i can do this right here sorry guys i have to let you down but this one see so now you can just go and tie it there you go now you got power for your accessories from the battery how it's supposed to be this fitting the accessories on your fuse box. Also, the alternator came straight to the battery. It's how the old oldies, um, old times doing it. And they had no problem at all. I've been using this trick in my car and I don't have no burn it box in my car. And it's been like more than three years like that. In all my cars, I do it like this because this goes straight to the alternator. And um, you always disconnect the battery to uh, to work on the car, you know. So that, that way, this cable is dead. When w Once you disconnect it from here, it's no power. So um, that's my uh, tip for you guys. Just be careful. You know, you have to know what you're doing. If you like it this way, go ahead. But you have to know that if you're working on electrical close to the alternator, that's straight power from the battery to the alternator. That's why it has this cover right here. Because you still got power in there. Even if it's not connected to there straight, you still got power from here. So you have to burn this fuse that is 150 amps in order to like, you know, cause right now you still got, if it's connected to this, you still got power to the alternator. So 150 amps. So imagine you have to do, a, I mean, a lot of like explosion to like burn this fuse. So it's the same thing if it's disconnected to the straight. So instead of burning this box, I just put it here. That's a tip for you guys. So remember, disconnect the, the power every time you you work on the on the car so do it like this that's it i know i touch a little bit but uh there you go so no power no uh, same as disconnecting the the battery so anyways um i'm gonna i'm gonna get get going on this uh on this video because i'm uh i'm about to remove the transmission cover Okay, this is um, something to teach. Something to teach. Uh, I uh, did this too with aluminum, cut it, I reinforced it with some more aluminum, and uh, cut the, this the same uh, um, same size of this so I can put them in here and unclip that thing from there. So, so far this thing has been working. It's my uh, third time using it. So I just click it there like that and wiggle it down and it comes loose very easy. See, and you don't damage uh, the, the, the ribbon cable. Let me see if I can do the other one. Might be a little tight spot for me. 
But look, it comes out. Get some click very easy. This might be hard because it's it's like on the way, but look, this is what I do. So you click clip it here and it pops it down. I don't know how it does it, but it works. This thing works so good. So there it is. I just wanted to show you guys this this little trick. I think there's a tool that's already invented for this to clip those uh this cable. I might gonna go ahead and replace this as well. But I just wanted to show you this guys. After cleaning everything, if you guys are not gonna work on this for a little while, you can put the oil panel back in here and uh, and you will be ready to take it off when, I mean, whenever you guys uh, got the replacement parts. So, uh, let me put this ribbon cable down here. Let me see if I can, uh, do it with one hand. I don't think so. I can try. Okay. Okay, so it's like this. So you just put them like that. So guys, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, for another video. If I can make a, a video, I don't know if I'm going to survive this uh, virus or not. But uh, hopefully everything goes good. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully I still can make more videos. If not, uh, I, might, I might have my son like probably say something or i don't know if something happened to me hopefully everything goes good so far i start feeling that i don't have enough air so i don't know if i'm gonna have a I'm gonna have to be connected to a breather or what i don't know but uh thank you for watching guys and uh that's it and i don't know